Mm -hmm. Let's see what we get. Oh, efficiency and unbreaking. Oh, that is perfect. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Minecraft. Um, the kitty is doing stuff in the background. Are you? Are you okay? Are you broken or something? Hmm. Now, you might have noticed I didn't use our enchanting villagers for this hoe that we are going to need in a minute. Well, the reason for that is that I used all my emeralds and all my tradables for emeralds for this pickaxe. Which has given us a lot of stuff I've been mining off camera for a good bit. And because this pickaxe now has mending on it, I could practically repair it on the go. Wait, let's just whoop, take it in our hand and hope that it fills up again. Yeah, our iron shortage is kind of over. Thank God. Now, to tackle this um, emerald shortage, I was planning on expanding our fields. This year was good for the time being, but we need so much stuff to trade with, to generate emeralds with, um, because we cannot really go the way of zombifying, because that is nothing I want to do in a hardcore let's play, to um, get better prices for everything with the villagers. We will have to, well, build up a healthy supply of food, of pumpkins, of wheat, of carrots, of, well, everything. And for that, we just need bigger fields. Now what I want to do is basically fill up all this empty space in front of our, in front of our home with wheat fields or, well, other fields. Just, oh, it's getting dark. Oh, dang it. Mm -hmm. To, to be able to harvest enough stuff in one go to, to, well, get a bunch of trades going. Hello, kitty. And she's purring. That's very cute. Did you know, by the way, that they occasionally, kitty cats, bring you gifts? I've recently got, um, gotten an, I think it's a rabbit's paw, rabbit's foot, rabbit's paw, something you need for enchanting later on, from her. Anyways, I will start laying down an outline, maybe even filling this kind of hole up so we can use this space as well. And yeah, create massive fields. Cutting trees over here, so I have an easier time um, seeing what I want to terraform and what not. And I've discovered two beehives with a lot of bees inside who should be about to go to bed. Come on. Bzz. And once we, uh, once they are inside, we can silk touch those hives. Without them getting angry. At least I hope so. <laughs> okay, I hope there's no more bees outside being angry at me. Yeah. You're mine! You! Okay, go to sleep fast. Quick! Kitty, protect me. Look! That's what I meant. Rabbit's foot! I got three of those now. They are super duper rare. Which is awesome. Well, 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 this is part one. <laughs> this plot here, wait, 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 let me show you. I filled all of this up and I'm going to wall all of this area, this even ground here, in like I walled this in. This down here, I um, decided against filling that up because I'm out of dirt. <laughs> This is just too much, too much, too much space to fill in. But I thought, okay, leave it at this level. 
even it out. And this could be the place where we can grow lots and lots of sugarcane, way more than we can grow over there. One thing that I'm going to need for this... Oh, did you just give me another rabbit's foot? Oh, you are so awesome. Um, what we are going to need for this is sand, because sugarcane grows quickest on sand. And then I have to think about how I will... Hmm put water down there, but I think I have an idea. Now, the only thing that um, might cause trouble in the future, and I will have to yeah, find a solution for that, is um, potentially mobs coming down those hills and just falling over the fence. Yeah, but I'm sleeping almost every night. Hello kitty! So, that might not be a problem. So, um, I successfully made some noodles <laughs> in the sand. Wait. <laughs> yep. That is the most efficient way to <laughs> get a sugarcane farm going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't talk about efficiency here. This looks like like a thing. And it's gonna work wonderfully. Now, the way I want to get the water in here is... Well... First of all, get the water in here. Shocker, I know. Um, and then I actually want to hide it under trapdoors, like this. Oops, not like this, only like this. So we can walk over it and when we um, harvest the sugarcane that will be growing on the sand here, it won't fall into the water, and we will not stumble there uh, into the water. And, 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 yeah, no water. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, everything is planted, and it is starting to grow. I'm really curious to see how, how much one harvest will yield there. We'll get to that in this episode, I believe. Um, for now, I've set the outline for the, um, other fields. <laughs> uh, mm. That might be a little bit ambitious. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we are going to do this. And um, there should be an, an entryway over there, pass leading to the, to the house, to the other side entrance. And what I'm going to do with the wall over here towards the bridge, I'm not really sure yet. We will, well, we'll need place for, um, we'll need a place for stables and stuff, I guess, at some point. Now, I've started to think about a wall design for the outer parts, not like, not like this, but for this outer contour or outline. Um, well, obviously spruce wood, because spruce wood. <laughs> and I think I'm going to make it a little bit uneven, just like this, a little bit jagged with fences on top and the occasional, um, yeah, little detail in the wall itself. So, let's go! And good morning! It is the next day, very early for me, and I've just woken up, started Minecraft, and seen that this is grown completely and because I have to wait for a little bit anyways because I need a lot of wood I'm almost out and the wall is not finished yet and I've planted the trees up there to to uh yeah um, um restock my wood supply in the meantime oh wait actually we have to sleep otherwise bad stuff kitty cat you are so cute Rabbit hide this time. Where do you get those rabbits from? I wonder. Okay, let me see. Um, from zero sugarcane to... Twenty-one and a half something stacks. No. Fourteen, twenty. Twenty-one and a half. Yeah. Twenty-one and a half something stacks. I'm pretty sure I left one or two... Sugarcane on the ground here somewhere. 
because that is the only real um, negative side of this thing that you don't really see like this. It's hard to see um, items on the ground, but on the other hand, it really doesn't take too long to harvest, like two minutes maybe. And that is definitely a good thing to have in hardcore. In survival, I would of course have built some sort of automatic farm, but in hardcore, this is perfect. I don't have to replant anything, and this is going straight to the villages. Well, now, quick little update, guys. Um, as you might be able to hear, <laughs> the space under all of this farmland is hollow, and I might have done a bad job lighting it up. I think this is hell down there. I think this is a mob farm I created. <laughs> Dang it! I wanted to prevent that from happening, but okay, that's that's how it is now. Um, for what I've been doing, I've been setting up the wall that is um, from there, over there, detailed. The rest isn't detailed yet, I'm about to do that right now. I've also laid out some pathing where I think it makes sense. I want to have some little details in here. Of course, I want uh, stuff like... Well, let's say a little flower bed or, or um, a big tree in, in the middle in here and a little pond in, in here. And all of those bigger spaces are reserved for crops. Um, we'll see how we do that later on. For now, we are going to detail the rest of this wall. And I, I hope you like it. I do actually like this completely jagged and, and, and roughed up look. I, I really do. And I've put um, on several spaces, like, like here behind oak trapdoors and better hidden behind spruce trapdoors, lighting in the walls, just to, to have a little bit of something every now and then. Um, there will of course be lighting on the ground as well, but I thought, hey, come on, put something in the walls too. So let's just see, the last one I put in was here, so... Here should be a good idea for another jack-o'-lantern. And this time behind a spruce... No! Oak trapdoor, that's what it is. <laughs> and for the other details, I've been... Every now and then I've put in some planks, just to get a little bit of a different texture. And every now and then I put a stripped log um, in another way kind of another direction, also for a little bit of more detail. Quick little update before <laughs> before I get to um, yeah, preparing the farmland itself. I might have accidentally uh, built some custom trees. I don't know how that happened, but it, it happened. <laughs> well, I built the pond and kind of felt like something was missing and I thought, okay, what would go best with wheat fields? That is birch trees. And birch trees also kind of fit in well with the with the pine tree um, biome. So that's that. I finished detailing the, the wall. The only thing that is yet to be to be built is this whole side of um well of our home, of our base. Which I think I will not do in this episode, because I had this idea of building some stables, something, uh, well, more fitting for our cows and for, for our chickens and so on and so forth. And I thought, okay, this part here could be dedicated to that, and I'm going to, to do that in another episode. For now, we are just going to take care of this area. Now, what I have to do right now is place water sources, um, as I did before in the farm over there, with um, just one spot water sources with, whoop, with a trapdoor on top and a lantern on there. That's how we do that. And then I'm going to plant a whole lot of stuff. Much farming later. I just went to bed. A split second too late, and hordes of creepers are with me. I'm so glad I have my kitty with me all the time, because I don't even have my bow on me. 
Ooh. So just in case you didn't see that, uh, you haven't seen that before. Kitty! What are you doing? He's fleeing! He's afraid of Le Kitty. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I need the gunpowder, actually. Sooner or later I will use a little bit of TNT, at least. Uh, get behind the kitty. <laughs> no! Meow. Oof. Oh. No. No! Thank you, kitty. Oh. This is dangerous. This is really dangerous, you know? I mean... I'm in I'm in build mode. I'm completely in in my zone, and I I kind of forget that I'm that I'm on hardcore. And then those guys creep up. I'm not going anywhere without my kitty anymore. Dude, you you! I've just been getting some emeralds. <laughs> Thank you. Drip leaf. Oh, this is great! Oh, this is so great! Could you restock? Could you? Could you give me more? I need and I, I need lily pads. That's important. Some things are just important. And what are I, what am I doing with drip leaves? Can I place them under water? Oh, ooh, ooh! I'll keep some uh, just in case I'm I mess things up here. <laughs> Oh, so nice. Okay, but this pond definitely needed lily pads. Many hours later. I mean it, many hours. And we're back. So close to completion. Guys, oh. I am facing one big problem, though. Um, <laughs> I don't have enough seats. By far not enough. I don't have enough wheat seeds. I have a lot of carrots, but that's about the only thing I have an abundance of and um yeah i still have a lot of empty space <laughs> um yeah what we are also missing is potatoes we don't have a single potato to plant and melons i wanted this field here for example completely for pumpkins and this neighboring field for melons well this means that first off i have to grind stuff like wheat and carrots and beads over there until I have those fields filled up and in the next episode maybe we can go and set out to find a jungle and well try to find melon seeds maybe even cocoa seeds and uh, pumpkins wouldn't be uh, pumpkins <laughs> potatoes wouldn't be too bad either um and on a side note one of the smaller um fields that I wasn't really sure what to do with, I planted flowers. The big ones that you can just bone meal to get more of and I quite like this, this little ensemble and also a bunch of tiny flowers because, well, I just had them. And this could be a very good transition between the um, veggie fields and, well, other farming stuff over here. Anyways guys, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Even though this project isn't completely done yet, we got a whole lot of stuff going here and this is going to be so, so useful. So useful. Anyways, have a good one. Leave me a like and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.